What's up, party people? Yo, uh, my name is Evan Downing. Back, back at it again with another video. This time I'm in college, uh, Pacific University, Forest Grove, Oregon. Uh, and today, I just kind of want to go over some first impressions. I'm gonna try to keep it general, uh, but obviously, I have very limited experience, and I can really only speak about Pacific, but. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it general and just kind of just give my first impressions of everything. So, uh, start to start off with, let's start off with the dorm where I'm at right now. Um, this is a double room, I guess. Uh, so me and one other person, uh, we're probably gonna put our bunk beds together. You can probably do that at most other colleges, uh, but you have to like request uh, like some faculty member to do it at least here but you'll figure that out. Um, and if you wanna figure out what your residence halls might look like due to like COVID and all that stuff, lots of colleges have like virtual um, pictures of the rooms. So like you used to just, when you visited the college, you could go in and see what the dorms look like. But nowadays uh, it's all virtual. So if you go in your college's website on the search bar, just type in residence halls um, and, uh, you can probably find a 3D photo of your room, um, and they, they're different for, like, each hall, so this hall, uh, has, like, nice storage, as you can see, um, other halls, it's different, you know, so just keep that in mind, not all, not all halls are the same, uh, and also, over here, you see my little, little bulletin board, there you go, um, very useful, uh, we, I, I also put a whiteboard over here, uh, but yeah, I think, you know, just look at your room, see what it has, and uh, ask questions. You can always email, like, your uh, admissions counselor, or uh, try to find, like, res the residence hall's uh, email uh, for whatever college you're into, so keep that in mind. Um, next kind of thing, there's a lot that you, you're, when you're packing for college, it feels like you're overpacking but don't be afraid to overpack because there's things that you'll think of and you'll be like ah but do i need that just bring it just bring it okay um you can always return it like if you and your parents are going down and you get everything set up and you're like eh, i don't need it good let them take it back for you um or pawn it off you know <laughs> just do something you don't have to keep it um but yeah, it's going to feel like you're overpacking a lot. Uh, but really, start at least a month before you're moving and create like a note on your phone or something like that where you can be like, oh, shoot, I should bring that, this, that, the other thing, you know, and just write it down. And that way, when you're like, you know, a week out, you can be like, okay, got that, got that, got that. Oh, still need that, you know. And so whenever it pops in your mind, just write it down. That way you don't forget it. Okay, so this weekend has been pretty structured for me, uh, and that's fine. Uh, they just want you getting involved and lots of stuff, and I'd imagine if you're not moving in, like, you know, the day before classes, uh, if there's, like, three or four days you have, or even, like, maybe a week that you're, like, there in town before practice, or, I mean, college in your dorm and stuff, they're probably going to have you, like, be going out and doing stuff with them, like mandatory, like resident halls meeting, mandatory uh, tours, which would probably be helpful if you haven't seen them before, but lots of mandatory things. Uh, but that's honestly okay because you're gonna just have be having your classes after that, and then it's really up to you for time management and making sure you get your stuff done. Uh, but yeah, make sure you're planning. Uh, Way, way in advance, you know, write that note to keep track of all the things you have and don't have, um, ideas, and uh, it might feel like you're overpacking, but just pack it, dude. You can always return it. Um, better to have it than to not have it, right? So, another thing, check out your college's library. I checked out the one over here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I was able to check out a textbook um, and that's going to be a place in my college textbook, so I don't have to spend, like, 170 bucks on that college textbook, 
I can just check out the book from the library for free. So honestly, I'm pretty psyched about that. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that with lots of my classes because the library is so much stuff. So much books, dude. You can find all the information. I bet there's more information in, like, you know, the chemistry section of the library that you're at than in your textbook that you're going to buy. So just, just use the library. Don't even bother. If you can, just don't even bother with buying books. Just try to find the library. And if you have to buy it, I guess you have to buy it, but obviously try to find the cheapest version available on Amazon. Maybe you could buy it from a student who still has it from their year. Um, you know, do what you can. Uh, so yeah, also, meet new people. Make friends, okay? Try to get a number from every class you have. That way, because you're probably going to miss a few things because the college is going to be sending you lots of emails, going to be getting a lot of emails from your professors. So try to get some numbers from your friends because or from the people in your classes who hopefully will become your friends that way you guys can be checking out oh did you see that we had to order a textbook oh you see this assignment this that and the other thing you know so make sure you're doing that too that is important and believe me they're going to be carrying you too you're going to be carrying them at some points they're going to be carrying you at some points so make sure you get at least one number a but more the merrier though so hey if you can get more get more dude um Sorry for the shaking, I keep hitting my desk. Um, but yeah, dude, that's just a few first impressions, lots of things going on. Uh, it's a good time, I'll try to keep you guys updated. Uh, and this is a fun time. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I want to try to address them. And I uh, look forward to continue, continuing this year with you. So uh, continue to document and stuff. So. Thank you, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.